What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be going over Should you summon for Sakura now? I know a couple of people have been asking about it and stuff like that Because they don't know if she's good or not And I, I know PvP is like the biggest aspect of blazing So you would want to know um, But anyways, so uh, Starting out, right, she's a Leaf Village Affiliate um, 58 calls, so she goes to 28 calls, max duped Which is amazing, right? That's amazing actually and I'll get into why later. Uh, body type, 2256 HP, 1556 attack stat mid-range. Um, her attack stat's kind of low, but she's, um, I'll get into why. She's like kind of a healer-esque unit, so it's, she's not going to have like insane attack. Um, field skill reduces um, chance of attack reduction 35 to 40%, which isn't that crazy because not a lot of units attack reduction. On top of attack reduction isn't that bad. Um, in PvP, let alone like no, PVE. So, uh, yeah, four eight chakra. Her first jutsu is eight times attack and body damage uh, to one enemy, knocks them back, deals twelve times attack if they have slip damage. Really big multipliers, but she has low attack stat. Um, ultimate jutsu eight times attack. Um, I mean eight times attack. Eight chakra twenty five times attack and body damage to one enemy in range 60 percent chance of attack reduction for six turns and or mobilization for three turns and knocks them back and restores 2500 hp every turn for three turns so her ultimate heals 7500 hp really good um her pve pvp stats 42,000 hp 2400 attack stat 206 speed nothing crazy um her first her jutsu her pvp jutsus are the same as her um her pve jutsus her pvp jutsus are the same as her pve excuse me all right abilities uh restores 25 to 500 hp a turn um depending on pve or pvp boost damage against skill by 30 percent restores 20 250 to 500 hp a turn uh boost damage against body <coughs> body by 30 percent i almost died uh, nullifies type disadvantage when attacking so her abilities are actually really good right you got 500 healing a turn um, when you combine her first and third ability you get 30% increased damage to skill 30% increase to body that's really good because um, as a body unit um, you already do more damage to heart right so you don't need that but you don't do more damage to body and skill so giving you that is really good then our last one is negating type disadvantage so now she's going to be doing the same damage to body and skill units and she's going to still be doing increase to heart that's just really really good for uh soccer so uh moving on her sync skills sync with body nullifies and mobilization pretty all right nothing crazy because like there are like there are a lot of body units that are really good and optimal in pvp so that's good but the chances of you having all three of them out at the same time is not too high um sync with mid-range nullifies chakra recovery ceiling that's not that bad either so that's our pve form let's go ahead and go over to our pvp form um uh 56 cost same body same 1600 hp 1300 attack mid-range all that's the same field and buddy same cool uh first jutsu is five times attacking body damage to all enemies in range right aoe jutsu ultimate eight chakra um 16 times attacking body damage to one enemy ignores any um damage reduction and knocks them back okay cool um then you go into her uh pvp stats and everything like that she has uh 46 000 hp right 46,000 HP, 1,800 attacks at 246 speed. This is no pills. So with pills, her speed is 276. Okay, not that bad. She has a lot of HP. Um, and I'm going to get into why her being slow isn't really that bad. Uh, her PvP Jutsus. 4 Chakra, 9.4 times attack and body damage to all enemies in range. 70% chance of mobilization for one second. So she has an AoE um, Jutsu that immobilizes 70% chance which is really good ultimate for 30 times attacking body damage to all enemies in range um ignores damage reduction knocks them back restores own chakra by three so technically she can do an ultimate jutsu and then do a regular jutsu right after um abilities 
250 a turn or a thousand if it's PvP. Uh, reduce bravery damage by 30%. 250 healing a turn or a thousand if it's PvP. Then reduce wisdom uh, damage by 30%. Then you have 10% chance to restore chakra by one when attacking. So this Sakura's abilities are pretty good. Now th the reason why her being slow isn't that bad is because she's healing 2,000 a turn on top of having bravery damage reduction and wisdom damage reduction, which are the main two like the main two um like damage dealers in PvP, right? Um, if you go onto her banner, well actually we can look at her jutsus real quick. Let's look at her jutsus real quick, right? So this is her PVE form, right? Single target. This is her ultimate. Here's her PvP Jutsu. If you notice right there, right? Where's it at? That's a, what's called mid-range. Mid-range Jutsu. AoE, 70% chance to immobilize. Really good, really good. So yeah, boom. And then her ultimate Jutsu as well. Um, going on to her banner, right? Here, let me open this in a new tab just so I can zoom in for you guys. Alright, so here's Sakura. You know, 40 pearls, 3 times rate up. 40 pearls, you get those. Uh, 50 pearls, you're guaranteed what? Like, you're guaranteed one of the featured units or something like that, I think. Um, 30 pearls, you get some uh, speed pills. 6 times rate up right here. Um, her featured units, right? You have Body Sasuke and is this Heart Atachi, I believe? Then you have Body Zabuza and then you have Bravery Haku. Um, Bravery Haku is really outdated. Body Zabuza is outdated. They're still really good, but they're outdated. Body Sasuke was pretty mediocre. And then um, Heart Atachi isn't too crazy. He's decent, though. Um, so like looking at the featured units, they're not that good, um, in my opinion. Now, if I were to tell you guys, I don't think you should summon on this banner. I don't think you should. Sakura is not bad. She's good, but I don't think Sakura is good enough to outweigh the not good featured units, right? I, I feel like this banner is just not worth it in my opinion. So um, honestly, do what you will with that information. That's going to be about it for this video. Be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, so